What's up YouTube, TMZ1313 here. Today I finally got my lithium batteries. Actually got them a couple days ago. Um, right now I just got my little balancer on there. Um, I just want to make a quick video. I'm going to go get my camper today. We're going to do some 24 hour tests of simulating me being in the camper for 24 hours. You know, having the refrigerator always on, having the radio on for a certain amount of time, lights. You know, stuff I'd normally use for a 24 hour period. That's my cat, Otto. He's hungry, so he's standing by here and waiting for me to feed him. Anyways, um, so I got this, these lithium batteries off eBay for $550, including shipping. Alright, um, they're 100 amp hour, LifePo 4 batteries. 100 amp hours so um i got i got over a thousand watt hours to use on this um and when i calculated all the math i was i was going to use about 500 watt hours so i might be able to power my camper two days just off this tiny battery alone and to me that's pretty cool because this thing only weighs less than 20 pounds and um and it uh, is very small, especially compared to like my uh, sealed uh, or my um, flooded uh, batteries. But I got some specs here, so I'm going to show you some of the specs. Um, so like I said, it's 100 amp hour. Uh, the nominal voltage of each cell is 3.2 volts. So if you tell right here, 3.2, 3.2, 3.2. So they're all at 3.2 right now. Um, they're damn near all, all at the same amount. Uh, they got a resistance of a uh, little bit greater than 1 milliohm, which is crazy compared to like a lead acid. Uh, so they take a charge a lot faster than a lead acid would. So that's good also. Um, the standard charger mode is CC slash CV. Uh, same as uh, um, lead acid, it's constant current, constant voltage uh, charging. So uh, you could use this with solar panels and stuff like that. Uh, the end of solar char uh, uh, the end of so uh, charging voltage is three point seven volts, and that comes out to fourteen point eight volts. All right. Uh, the standard charging current is a hundred uh, amps, which is pretty crazy. You could. You can put 100 amps charging to this and it won't hurt the battery at all. It could charge at 1C. Um, the discharging is normal 100 amps. So you could discharge 100 amps at any time. And then the maximum continuous discharging current is 300 amps. Which is pretty crazy uh, for a battery. I personally, you know, I'm so used to lead acid batteries. Um, and I'll be, compare I'll be making comparison videos of that as well. Um... The charging temperature ranges from 0 to 45 Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I'll have to get that. Uh, discharging, it could go, um, you could discharge it from negative 25 to 55 Celsius. Uh, storage temperature for one month, uh, 0 to 60, de uh, 60 degrees Celsius. And for six months, you want to store it at uh, 0 to 25 uh, Celsius. Uh, the cycle life. 90% discharge is 2,000 cycles or greater, it says. Um, I'll probably only be doing about 70% 70, uh, 70 discharge. So basically taking 70% of the battery out. So, yeah. And uh, self-discharge rate per month is less than 3%. So not bad at all. Uh, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty excited. So please watch. Um, all my videos coming up because I'm, I'm going to be testing these tonight. I'll be trying to make some videos for you guys. So check it out. Uh, thanks for watching. Please share, subscribe, check out all my other videos. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.